Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what we're making for our next project. So this is an example. This is a slab vase. Now you don't have to make a vase. You can make a sculpture. You can make an animal. You can make a bottle like I did. You can make anything you want out of the technique that I'm about to show you. So in my example here, you'll notice that I use two of these half circle shapes and put them together and then I put a base on the bottom. Now what I want you to see is that I incorporated lots of textures, so at least two textures need to be incorporated into your project through stamping, carving, or attaching. So I use carving, attaching, and stamping, and then in addition, if you want a little bit of an extra challenge, you can also add handles, or if you want to create a bottle top, you can also do that as well. So notice I filled up both sides with texture and I made sure that I had something interesting all the way around my piece so that no angle is boring. So I'm gonna show you how to get started today. So you're gonna start out with a 10 inch by 10 inch square and you're going to fold it in half. So this just ensures that no matter what shape or size you do, that your template that we're gonna trace our shape out of is gonna be symmetrical. So I'm gonna start by drawing, I'm gonna do a traditional vase. So I'm gonna start at the top. Notice the fold is right here, so I wanna be able to fold open my template. I'm gonna start at the top and I'm going to make um, the neck of the a vase that I'm going to create. So I'm gonna start by angling in. Now something you wanna be careful of is make sure that you don't have anything really wide that gets really skinny really fast because the clay can't really support itself when you do that. So it's okay to have the clay go in and out, but you don't want anything really skinny, you don't want anything really wide and nothing that will change super fast because it's hard to make it stand up. So I'm gonna start by making the neck of my vase is angling in, and then I'm gonna angle it out and make a curve, just like a traditional vase has. I'm gonna bring my line all the way down to the bottom. So notice down here, I made sure not to bring my line to the corner because we need to create a base later. So I have the, the neck right here, it angles in, I have a curve and it comes down to the bottom, still leaving enough room for your piece to stand. Now, say you don't like something you did and you wanna change it, in this stage you can just cross out whatever you don't like and just redraw it and make it prettier or whatever it is you want it to be. All right, so after I've drawn my line, I'm gonna cut on my line. So now I have a template for the vase that I'm going to make. So notice it's symmetrical, it's the same on both sides, and this is what we're going to use to cut out our shapes. Now, don't lose this, keep this throughout the project because you don't know if you may need it again if something goes wrong or if you make a mistake and need to recreate uh, a part of your pot. So it's always good to have, so don't lose this. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how to wedge clay and how to roll our slabs. 